When people are standing in salah and every little while a guy is scratching, what does he do to you? Standing next to them, scratching, scratching a little bit more. You get upset, you get angry. Please don't nudge the guy and tell him, <coughs> you know, because that's the wrong thing to do. My brothers and sisters, we would get irritated when someone is, when someone is fidgety in salah, please do not be fidgety. We are supposed to be standing correctly with silent obedience for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But imagine if someone came to you and said, Salaamu Alaikum. You know, I recall there was an uncle who used to look around and we were young, we were mischievous as well. He used to look around in salah, you know, and one day I said, hey, and he did this. And then he realized he's in salah and he quickly put, he put his hand, his, his, his eyes down again. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. But some of us, that's how we operate in Salah. We look all around, ooh, beautiful lights, lovely masjid, mashallah. Ooh, this is a nice, wow, it's echoing quite well. Everything's okay. That's what our Salahs boil down to. There was a time when the companions were allowed to speak in Salah. Do you know that? There was a time when initially Salah was prescribed, people were allowed to say certain things to each other in the Salah. So they would whisper to the, to the person next to them, respectably for something. So then there came a verse of the Quran, verse number 238 of Surat Al-Baqarah. And this is a hadith muttafaq alayhi reported by Zayd ibn Arqam radiallahu an. He says, we used to speak to each other in salah until Allah revealed a verse. وَقُومُوا لِلَّهِ قَانِتِينَ Stand in prayer for the sake of Allah in silent obedience. Silence, obedient. When that verse was revealed, speaking became prohibited, fidgeting and everything else became totally prohibited. Amazing. There is a narration whereby they say one of the companions who was unaware of this appeared in Medina Munawwara during the time of Salah. And when he came in, he greeted some of the people, Assalamu Alaikum, and they were in Salah. They did not reply because the verse had already come down. And he says, what's wrong with you people? I'm greeting you and you're not replying. And then he realized there seems to be something. After the salah, they informed him of the revelation and the verse. My brothers and sisters, let us make it our business to stand in front of Allah with utmost humility, dead silence, and as far as possible, try not to fidget or to move. Look down and concentrate on the words, even if you don't understand the Arabic language. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us all an understanding.